in our next videos we're gonna try to do some algebra in 3d that's a great subject that we're gonna study so in 3d we assume that we have some origin and this is our x-axis this is the y-axis and this is the third one that we call the z-axis okay while in 3d so this is the usual way okay so this is our usual x y plane okay so if we have a uh, some 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 circle here in this plane okay uh, we know how to express it okay because we we know how to do a circle having a center a b and radius r we know how to ex express that now assume that we are in this plane okay and we want to express this circle here this circle how can we write the equation of that okay moreover we can we're gonna say how to write lines here okay okay when can we say that lines here are parallel to this one here okay moreover we can sometimes we are interested in projecting okay so assume that we have some line here delta okay and we're gonna use some square or some circle here okay and we're gonna project that one here how it's gonna look okay what's its equation how can we do that moreover if we have a a let's say a sphere okay so some some sphere okay and the plane okay when we project it here on the x y what's its equation okay okay how can we say that two lines in the in here are parallel to some line here in the x y okay so this is a introduction in in, in you know, to, to what we're gonna do and in some geometry in 3d okay so that's what we're gonna have 3d geometry and we're gonna do it in the summer so we're gonna do a lot of problems and basically the we're gonna see what we know from algebra 2 to, to what to we're gonna move it some 3d but we're gonna use some algebra okay and also how can we can we get some 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 express some movement okay so some movement in in, in, in space in 3d so we need to have some function of time okay so it's some 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 object that's moving okay let's say this is our m okay so this is the origin this is the point m and its coordinates x y and z are changing in function of time okay moreover we're gonna see that let's say we have two planes okay so two planes p1 p2 okay when can we say that these two are parallel how can we express the lines the lines are parallel okay and moreover we're gonna do some projection and sp uh, movement movement in space basically so movement in space when we have two points or maybe let's say some some car or some plane or some other stuff it's moving in space what how how, how does it change how the movement is changed it's changing in function of some some x y and z that depend on time so that's what we're gonna do and that's the coming one in summer